Hey guys, I just want to bring this up real quick. Uh, I was looking at the analytics on my channel again, and uh, I'm still around that 50% mark where 50% of the viewers are not subscribers, and I don't understand why. I'm really curious as to what's going on there. These are people that are coming to my channel, they're watching my videos, they're obviously getting something useful from it, uh, whether that's uh, entertainment or um, uh, good information. So, and they're coming back to watch more videos, but they're not subscribing. So, let me know in the comments if you have any ideas as to uh, why that might be and uh, what I could do to change that to get you guys that aren't subscribed to my channel to click that subscribe button. Hey YouTube, welcome to another video. We're going to look at AI. AI is the talk of the town right now. It's exploding everywhere. It's crazy what it can do. Um, it is really incredible. It's maybe scary in some ways, uh, but whatever, however you feel about it, it's here, it's here to stay, and uh, it's gonna get, it's gonna have more impact and more influence on our lives and, uh, and how we go about doing things. So I was curious as to what it knew about processing uh, image data in PixInsight. And we've certainly seen AI's influence on uh, astrophotography and image processing uh, in the last year. We have add-ons for PixInsight, such as Russell Croman's Blur Exterminator, Noise Exterminator. Uh, those are AI-based tools that we can use in PixInsight. Um, we are quickly approaching, I think, in, you know, it could be years, but it, it may not be. It may be a lot sooner than that where we're going to be able to throw all our data into um, an AI system and it uh, spits out a finished image for us. And I find that actually kind of funny uh, because I remember being, uh, when this goes back maybe 12 years ago or more, but uh, I would travel to dark sites and I remember sitting one night, uh, we were imaging and uh, I was talking with a buddy of mine and uh, he said that he would love a program that he could just uh, put all his darks, lights, flats, everything, just throw it all in and uh, it would spit out an image for him. Well, I think his wish is coming true. Uh, we're getting close. So whether or not that's the right thing to do or not, I don't know uh, I, I'm sure that uh, you know I I enjoy image processing to some degree um, it's not that it, uh, it it can be tedious it can be you know uh, frustrating sometimes and whatnot but uh, I think that um, it, it does have a, an element of fun to it you, you you've captured your data and you're you know you, you bring it in the pics and site and you you make it you, you reveal what's what you what you captured basically and uh, um, turn it into a, a pretty picture but how much does AI actually know about this um, and you know AI systems like ChatGPT and uh, um, uh, Jasper, Midjourney. Uh, there, there's a whole bunch of them. I've been basically, I've been looking, I've been researching AI and uh, looking into it more and learning more about it. And it's a, it's a very, very deep rabbit hole. Um, very exciting time, uh, very interesting time. Uh, but what did it know about image processing was was uh, my curiosity. So I went to ChatGPT and uh, asked it how to process a one-shot color image in PixInsight. Um, and I was actually really surprised with uh, what it came back with. So let's just have a quick look at that. All right, so here we are in chat GPT. And now I'm, I'm not 100% you know, familiar with AI yet and, and how it all works and, and how to make it work. But uh, I, I initially wanted to give it some context as to what I was talking about or what I was interested in anyways. And uh, so I told it it was an astrophotographer doing image processing on data that it took with a telescoping camera. And it uh, gave me a little bit of, uh, um, I sort of took it as a little humorous. Uh, I'm not sure if that's actually the case or not, but uh, um, it came back and said, no, it's not an astrophotographer. So um, I, I thought that was a little funny. Uh, I then asked it, I prompted it to uh, list the steps to process a one-shot color image in PixInsight, and this is what it gave me right here. Um, and these are the general steps to do it. Calibration, image registration, image integration, all of this, of course, we can do in you know weighted batch pre-processing uh, now, but uh, there was a time where we, we did all these steps, uh, steps individually, uh, regardless, Chat GPT did did get it right. Um, image normalization, so background uh, extraction, DBE, um, color calibration, then noise reduction, 
dynamic range adjustment so stretching the image uh, sharpening you can you know obviously certainly you can do sharpening after you stretch an image but I would prefer to do deconvolution so I actually instructed chat chat GPT to um, do rework these uh, instructions a bit uh, including the um, uh, the sharpening, placing it at a different point in the uh, uh, steps that it outlined. So I went down here and uh, told it that number eight, which was the sharpening, I said that should be done uh, before dynamic range adjustment. Um, now, yes, yes and no. Um, I probably should have said deconvolution should have been done. Um, I should actually go back and, and just see what it what chat GPT does when I uh, ask it to incorporate uh, uh, deconvolution specifically but I wanted to move the the sharpening or the deconvolution um, uh, into earlier in the in the process so I told it that step number eight should be done before the the stretching of the image and it actually um, agreed with that and it uh, relisted the steps. So it reorganized it and relisted the steps to process, um, putting the sharpening, uh, what I was thinking in my mind at the time, deconvolution, um, putting it before the stretch. And then uh, final image is the end result and saving it, uh, final image, sorry, final image in terms of uh, tweaking it and, and whatnot as we all do, and then saving it as a, a JPEG uh, to share with people. I thought was interesting though was uh, in the final adjustments, it said about uh, um, uh, cropping specifically. And that's really something that is done early on. So step nine, I, I indicated to chat GP that step nine cropping should be done um, uh, at step four, which is um, after, one, well, basically after it, the data has been run through uh, weighted batch P processing and you've got your master files, you want to crop them before you do anything else and move on in the processing workflow. So it, uh, it recognized that um, and it re, uh, reworked the instructions again, moving the cropping up to number four, step number four up here. I then told it, I caught, I looked at it and um, it had said color calibration, um, convert the image from a grayscale image into a color. This is typically done using color calibration tools such as color calibration process. Okay, that's not exactly true, but um, I, I said step six color calibration um, doesn't change a grayscale image into a color image. Uh, color calibration applies a white balance to deep sky images based on photometry measurements of stars. And chat GPT, uh, very uh, nicely apologized to me for the mistake and recognized that it, that was correct and it um, it actually uh, corrected itself and rewrote the uh, the steps here as we can see so the end result that we've got here we've got 11 steps that chat GPT outlined that we could do to do a basic processing of a one-shot color image in PixInsight. And this is actually, it didn't take very many prompts really for me. I had to make some corrections obviously, but it didn't take, what, it one, two, three, four. I had four prompts to get it to uh, uh, produce an instruction list that uh, outlined how I could uh, image process uh, data that I took from a one shot with a one shot color camera in PixInsight. Okay, so what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Leave a comment. Uh, let me know. Good, bad. Uh, what's your opinion? There's going to be a lot of different opinions on this. I'm sure uh, a lot of different uh, perspectives. This uh, is certainly very interesting and intriguing, I find anyways, and uh, I'll be curious to see where it goes. But if this is an indicator uh, of things, I think that we will, and, and you know, feel free to comment and let me know what you think, but I think we will probably sooner than later get to a point where we'll be able able to put all of our data into a program, uh, an AI system, and it will produce a final image for us. So uh, certainly something to, you know, 
watch, uh, keep an eye on uh, as things progress with AI and uh, uh, certainly its influence on our hobby. Okay, thanks very much for tuning in. Really appreciate it, guys. Uh, like I said, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It does help the channel grow, and it helps get the uh, get, helps get my videos out to more people. So you're actually helping uh, other beginners uh, get uh, some of this information too by uh, by interacting with my videos and uh, helping to promote them. So, and I really appreciate that. And we will see you again in another video. For now, take care. Clear skies. Thank you.